to Katie's Playtime. So today I am making a request from 14 people. I, I don't even have enough fingers to say 10, 4. <laughs> 14 people, come on. I can't believe all of you are wanting me to make bath bombs. That is just incredible. It is an amazing idea. Thank you so much for sending it through and I've heard every single one of you, so I've written all your names down. Bear with me while I read them all out. I don't have that much of a good of memory. So, I would like to thank Sierra Hehe, Ophelia Marin, Giselle Ramirez, Movie Star Planet Girl, Ni Bomo for Destruction, Carolina Mendez, Dinant Hubers, Jezo Zhang, MNF Channel, um, Sleef, uh, Steffi23, Ramona um, Ortiz, Berry Splash, NBANFL1817, and Abby Pillow. Thank you so much for your request, everybody. I hope I've read your subscriber names out properly, and I do apologize if I haven't. Um, but I would like to get started on this amazing activity. Now, I have made my own already, just to make sure that they do work and they are incredible. Now, these are what I made 24 to 36 hours ago. You do have to let them set for that long. So, um, but I've made a butterfly, I've made a bee, and then I've made our traditional bombs. So, um, let's get started on how to make our own bath bombs, homemade. Okay, so you need to have your bicarbonate soda. You need some citric acid. So I can get these two uh, ingredients from uh, my local supermarket. I got mine from Safeways. So what you need to do is have one and a half cups of your bicarbonate soda. So one and a half. So that's one and a half cups of your bicarbonate soda. And then with your citric acid, you just need half a cup, not one and a half. So half a cup of your citric acid, which should be the same um, as um, the whole tin here that I've got, which is 75 grams. So 75 grams will do it. Now bicarbonate soda um, in America or any other country, um, is called baking soda. So um, you can use that instead of finding bicarbonate soda. So, okay, pull your half in there and pop them aside. Now that's my mix of bicarbonate soda and citric acid. So now I'm just gonna pop that aside and I'm going to move on to my second mixture. So my second mixture is now all like the wet ingredients, um, which will be my oil. So I've got lavender oil and I've got grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil, you can use rice bran oil, you can use grapeseed oil like me, you can use any type of oil you like. I use grapeseed oil, they use that in a lot of cosmetics. So um, it's really good for your skin, it's got vitamin E in it and everything, so it's, it's quite good. With this, I just like to do, say, two tablespoons. And with your um, lavender oil, just do about five to six drops. Mm, smells nice. <laughs> so lavender is really good to relax. I don't mind to relax a little bit. So um, with that, we'll just give that a stir. And then we also get our food coloring. You don't have to use food coloring. I've made two different bath bombs here. I've made one that's got no food coloring in it and then one that has pink food coloring in it. So you really don't like have to worry about which one you, you wanna choose um, because it just depends on whether you want the water colored or whether you just want it nice and clear. So, um, but today I'm gonna to show you how to use it with food coloring because you can always take that out. So because I've made pink ones, I'm gonna make some blue ones. So with your food coloring, you just need to do one cap. The less you put in, the more pasty it will go, like real pale. Um, the more you put in, the more dark the water will go. So I'm just gonna do one cap. Then we'll give that a mix and you'll find that it won't actually mix that well. You can actually see that the, the oil and the food coloring is actually separating. Okay, so now the next ingredient that we need to do, now we've done our oil, um, 
Although keep your oil uh, next to you because um, your oil will come in handy if your mixture is too dry. If it's not molding um, when we put the mixture together, then you need some more oil in there because it's just not gonna set hard. So, okay, so we'll keep that nearby. Now in our other mixture, if we can grab that one back, we are now going to mix that together with our spatula. And once you've finished um, mixing your mix together and making sure that all the citric acid and the bicarbonate soda or the baking powder um, is mixed very well, and we then get our um, half cup and we're going to use half of this cup. And we're going to add it to our wet mixture, which is in my yellow bowl. Now, when you add this, you need to make sure that it doesn't fizz. So you have to mix it quite fast, which a little bit of fizzing is okay if you hear a little bit. So that's how you make your basic mix for a bath bomb. So in my other ones, I've made plain ones and I've made some with um, tea leaves in them as well, which actually make them look quite pretty. And when you're in the bath, um, the tea leaves actually float in the water and it actually gives us a really nice um, relaxation um, happening in the bath. So I'm sure your mom or a friend would like that too. So the, the um, tea leaves that I've got, I've just got from the supermarket. You can also get it from a tea leaves place if you'd like, but they're a bit expensive. Um, if you can't find any loose tea leaves, just go to the herbal section where the tea bags are and just cut the tea bag off and then just pour the tea, bag, the, the tea leaves out of the bag. So it's quite simple. But I've got some rose garden ones here. Um, and yes, it's tea, you can drink it, can you believe it? <gasps> rose petals. So I'm just gonna put about that much, about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna pour that into my mix and I'm just gonna mix it in. Now, you need to make sure you've got some gloves. Gloves on. I've just got some 99 cent gloves from Safeways. <laughs> they do the trick. So using your fingers and get the fingers right in there because um, the spoon doesn't work as well with um, pushing everything together. So um, once you've got some sort of mold happening like that, then just gra grab a mold. I'm gonna use my butterfly one and you can see this is the one I used earlier. So I haven't rinsed it out, but that's okay. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab some of my oil. And using your um, little paintbrush kitchen thing, we're just going to move the oil around. Our mold slides out really well after we've made it. So I'm just gonna make sure it's in all the corners. And then we're just going to use our other spatula, our little one, and we're just going to pour it in. And if you really want to, you can make uh, like a really cool looking one where um, you, you've got one side that's blue and one side that's white. And all you'd have to do is make another mixture of exactly what I've done, but don't put any food coloring in it. Make it exactly the same and then squish it on top and then it molds together and it hardens together and then when you take it out, you've got a two-tone looking um, bath bomb. So it just depends. You know, you can make different um, types where you can uh, make two different colors and then just squish them together and you just have a beautiful looking bath bomb or bath bomb butterfly or wh whatever mold you want to make. Okay, so there you have it. So that is my bath bomb in my mold. I now have to leave it for 24 to 36 um, hours for it to set. So I can't use it straight away. So make sure if you're gonna make it for someone, make it before, like a couple of days before their birthday because you can't really give it to them in the mold. <laughs> but um, I do have mine that I made two days ago. So I am going to show you exactly how it's going to be when they put it in their bath. So come with me and let's have some fun and get these gloves off. Come on. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom and I've got my bee bath bomb and I would just like to thank all of you for sending in your request, all 14 of you, and I really, really am so excited to give this a go with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, thank you for subscribing to everybody out there and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. 
Let's see how our bomb goes. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's so pretty. And don't forget that it has to be in, um, in hot water for it to work as well. In cold water, I don't think it will work. Um, but how nice is the colour of the bath as well. So that's with one cap of um, food colouring. Oh my gosh, it worked! I'm so excited! <laughs> so thank you so much again for sending in your requests and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I would love to see all your bath bombs on my Instagram. Don't forget to tag me. I'm watching! Just like you're watching me! <laughs> Bye!